Good day to everyone. My name is Akifa Ponda. I'm the Executive Director of Aflon Digital Institute, Kuge Abuja. I'm glad to be asked to make a short remark on the events happening at this moment. First, I appreciate the management of Toddlers Even Educational Foundation for the initiative to kickstart technical education and vocational education training program. It's not an easy task. It is what Aflon, my company, has done for years and it's been so frustrating. But I appreciate any effort in this direction. Our country is misdirected. We are confused. We want the easy way out in doing anything. Then we just pray. But it's not sufficient to pray. We have to act. And nothing symbolizes the way we are better than how we treat technical and vocational education. We take everything to be very simple. We take life to be a joke. We leave everything to God. But God is not mocked. Technical education it's not about university. It's easier to set up university, create a lecture room, and put benches in the hall. Students will sit down, they will copy notes, then they will take exam, and they will copy the notes which they have been given, and then they pass. Then they come out and looking for work. A degree in economics, a degree in business administration, a degree in sociology, a degree in international relations. You can't even speak language. So, we are not equipped to do anything. And we are joking with our lives. There's no doubt about it. Technical education is very expensive. The cost of running a university is less than 20% of what you need to run a technological university. For example, you need to set up ordinary language laboratory. Look at the equipment you need to do that. Not empty classroom. In my own field, computer education, multimedia technology, you need computers, you need equipment, you need power. Without power, how do you treat people? How to even do plumbing? How to electrical wiring? how to do robotics, how to do artificial intelligence. This is what it is. We are focused on air dressing, we are focused on cosmetology, we are focused on soap making in 2022. Even in the area of education, to do online learning is not cheap. It's not cheap. Okay, overall, we still need government to create the enabling environment. Without government, it is just not possible to take all the young people who are on the streets. They are selling recharge card. They are selling comb. They are selling used clothes from all over the country. They will not leave the streets. It has to take a deliberate government act to, to proliferate technology schools, give them scholarship, give them stipend monthly for maybe six months or 12 months for them to acquire skills. Individual cannot set up schools. It's just not possible. I've tried it in Aflon. It cost me 20 million naira cash to install solar panel in my school. Just solar panel, you know, so that I don't buy this way again. I don't rely on PACN. So, who is going to pay the fees now if I just take in people who are in? In other countries, it's the children of the poor that go to technical schools. By the time they finish, they will know their value as human beings. Either you are aircraft, 
maintenance engineer, your automobile repair engineer, your electrical installation maintenance engineer. You can survive on your own. Most of these categories are even better paid at the end. But we don't want to invest in that area. We want easy solutions. Things have to change. For now, Nigeria prioritizes politics. Everything is politics. So everybody is rushing there. That's what their society wants. That's what we think is important. The moment we also prioritize technical education, we prioritize skill acquisition. Everybody will rush there too. We are all human beings and we respond to external stimuli. Overall, I appreciate the effort of Toddler's Evening Educational Foundation. It's a token. It cannot cure the problem of Nigeria until the political class and the society itself decide to change, to see the value in labor, to see the value in work, work that is based on skills, what you can do with your 10 fingers and produce results. There's no miracle about it. There's no shortcut. It's not going to happen. It could take us years. Whenever we do realize it, we will see the difference. Once again, I salute the organizer of this event. I wish them well at Aflon. The little I can contribute, if I can, I should, I will. Best wishes to the proprietor and the management. Best wishes to everybody.